This is Jim Stevenson taking you back to July 2nd, 1940. Roosevelt Stadium, Jersey City, New Jersey. Maxi Bear, former heavyweight champion, meets two-ton Tony Galetto in a 10-round bout. in New Jersey. The decision is entirely up to the referee, Paul Cavalier. This is the feature attraction of the evening, 15 rounds, from Sacramento, California, weighing 221 and a half, wearing purple trunks, the former heavyweight champion, Max Bear. From Orange, New Jersey, weighing 244 and a half, wearing black trunks, the colorful, popular, always thrill-providing youngster, Tony Galento. All right, Joe. Now, would you talk right into this? All right. Well, hold this, would you? Now, talk right into it. Right in close, close. Now, are you gentlemen acquainted with the boxing rules of the state of New yeah. Jersey? Is there any questions? Well, I'll tell you, Ref, I don't want to, I don't mean any questions, but uh, I don't want to, I want to fight a clean fight, and if that first time it gets rough, I'm going to get twice as rough. All right, boy. Here's another thing, too. There's no pulling in on heading, is that right? I That's mean, right. Okay. That's all up to the referee. The referee's in there to decide on that. Yeah, he well, I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, he can see that. How about open gloves if he boxes with open gloves? You pose to close your gloves, don't you? That's right. Yeah. That's right. I'm going to take these down a little, too, so there'll be no... Right. Watch this, Phil. What do you got today? Yeah. Huh? Same as you did. They're both above them. All right, okay. shake hands, boys. Uh, Come, wait a minute. Come out fighting. Any knockdowns, no <laughs> inverted corners, no kidney punches, no rabbit punches. When I tell you to break, both break, clean, and back up. Is that clear? Now, wait a minute. And all foul tactics are scored against you, same as a fence point, and a fight don't end in a foul. Okay. okay. Round one. for tonight, bear 222. That's a lot of beef. <laughs> if Galeno wins tonight, there's a good chance he'll get another crack at Joe Lewis's heavyweight title. In his first fight with Joe the year before, Leno lost but surprised everyone by knocking Lewis down.
end of round one. <laughs> round two of this battle between two-ton Tony Galano and Maxi Bear. Roosevelt Stadium, Jersey City, New Jersey. 33,000 fight fans here tonight. Neither of these men cares much about the science of boxing. Bear depends mostly on a clubbing right. Galeno's chief stock and trade is his rushing, roughing, and wild swinging. Round two. In the third round. All right, come in now. Get out when I tell you. Come on. and slug away. <laughs> and both are warned by the referee for rough tactics. <laughs> now round four. Maxi Bear's a real old timer. He's been fighting professionally for 11 years. He's had 74 fights, won 59, 48 by knockout. Back in 1934, Maxi won the heavyweight championship from Primo Carnera. But he lost it a year later to Jimmy Braddock, the Cinderella man.
End of round four. <laughs> round five. Bear has one of the truly great right hands in ring history, and he loves to throw it. Galeno's face is badly chopped up. This is one of the worst beatings he's ever taken. Bear presents his compliments to Mr. Galeno. <laughs> Round six. Bear hasn't been in such good condition in a long time. He's really serious about this fight. Galeno's very tired, but he won't quit, not Galeno. End of round six. Now round seven, two-ton Tony Galetto and former heavyweight champion Maxi Bear. Roosevelt Stadium, Jersey City. whatsoever. He walks right into Bear wide open and Maxie keeps cutting him to pieces with counter punches.
can't figure out what's holding Galeno up. Bears hit him with every punch in the book. Just in time to save Tony from a knockout. eight coming up but Galeno's handlers won't let him come out he's taken an awful beating it's all over Maxi Bear the winner by a TKO in the eighth round please ladies and gentlemen the bell rang beginning the eighth round Galetto unable to answer the winner at the eighth round is Max Bear think was the hardest blow that you hit him? Left hook, I think, in the mouth when he cut his cut his mouth up a little bit. I really think you cut him about an inch and a half there. You'll have a hard time eating spaghetti now. You think you're kidding? Uh, Max, um, why why does Galetto go around calling everybody bums? Reflecting his own condition. Huh? Reflect. Reflecting his own condition. Yeah. Well, you know, for two and a half years, Max, a lot of people have been calling me a bad boy. Tonight, brother, you take it. You're a bad boy. Thank you. And so are you. I'll say Joe, uh, Joe's proven that in his last eight or ten fights. He's a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> Tough boy. Joe, um, would you really like to meet Max again? I, I would like to. We're very good friends, though, but I'd like to the find business? him. You think, Raps, do you sure. think you'll meet him in September? I think so. Well, the way he fought tonight, I really think you two boys have got an engagement in September. Well, and we'll draw a lot of dough, too, Joe. Well, I should hope think Max proved tonight. Joe, will buy another, about another 50 horses, riding horses. Joe. Joe? One thing Max proved yeah. tonight, he can Have still fishing. punch. He can not only punch, but he can still take it. Max should have a terrific punch. fight listen, tonight. Listen. And that Ham Fisher is trying to match Palooka now. <laughs> See what that? <laughs> hey, that's one guy who can make wheel on that, uh, that sheet, but not in the ring, fella. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Thanks. I'm going to come down and ride those horses. No, Ram. Uh, you really think it was a very good fight tonight? I think it was a lovely fight. You did, huh? Well, that's right.